be live. What up, what up, what up, everybody? We're just gonna let this play for a minute. Okay. What's up, y'all? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. How are you guys doing tonight? Tonight, today. <laughs> How do y'all like that music? That's pretty good, right? That's produced by nobody else but Josh. Say Josh. If you need some music for whatever, that's your guy. Is. But he's the mad scientist beats on IG. One of our partners. We really enjoy doing business with. Do. He is. Oh, you can't hear it? Can't hear it. Yeah. Your cousin said he can't hear anything. I still don't hear anything. Oh, because it's on the live feed, that's why. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how blurry your sound is. Because my camera, Your fingers, you was touching it. It was probably dirty. <laughs> it's probably dirty. Yeah. And that's okay. Hmm. Funny. Because we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. But listen, you know? tonight we have uh, some really good things to talk about. We're talking about business and balance. Business and balance. I don't know about you, but that is an important topic that should be discussed. Yeah. With a lot of people, right? With a yeah. lot of people. I don't think people understand the complexities of, of business. And then having to balance that. Yeah. That's tough. It's hard. It's tough to maneuver through. It is. Sometimes. Sometimes. It doesn't have to be, but... Like most people, we let things get the weight of us. We do. To, to, you know, get in our heads and we start thinking about, and oh my gosh, and this and that, and yada, yada, yada. And then, next thing you know. But the beautiful thing is about balance. Speaking of balance, let's balance this moment. How was your day? Good. It was very interesting today. Was it? Yeah. Want to share some interesting lessons in the day? Don't mess with my mama. Don't mess with her mama. Or my dad, for that matter. Any parent. Just leave my family alone. Bloodline or even adopted family. Just leave them all (laughs) alone. Thank you. Back up. And have a good night. And have a good night. Right? Yeah. Drink your water and mind your business. There's two steps. Let me show you how. There's. Show them that mug. Show them that cup. My Just so you gloss. didn't know, this is the boss Lady Z. She is the boss of the Boss Gloss, co-founder and owner of Blended Harmony. And this live this video is sponsored by blended harmony 
Sponsored by Blended Harmony. You know why? Why? Because Blended Harmony is the bomb. Is. It's the bomb. I don't care. Can I give a little bit of background about it? Sure. Blended Harmony makes a product for your skin, for your soul, for your life that will bless all your parts. Not just your skin, but your hair, your nails, your mind, your spirit. And it's very important that as you go through life and you're trying to not be ashy. Mm -hmm. Listen, I know I make that joke often, you know, unash yourself. And I have to say it slowly because some of y'all might think I'm cussing. <laughs> but unash yourself has a whole lot to do with not just your skin, but your attitude. Mm -hmm. Your mind. Your mindset, right? I don't know if you know this. So I'm going to give you a little history. If you go to the store and buy some lotion, just some regular old, regular Vaseline intensive care lotion. Hey. Right? Jergens. Uh, yes. Uh, for cherry gold almond. bond cherry almond yeah <laughs> cherry almond was the business right next time you go or if you have some lotion in your house right now read the ingredients that's all you got to do is read the ingredients because if your lotion has ingredients in it that you can't pronounce it shouldn't be on your skin and i get it and I'm going to say a general blanket statement and maybe you can come back behind me and fix it. <laughs> but we've gotten as a society real lazy when it comes to convenience. Oh, yeah, right? that's true. And so our microwaves, we want to wash dishes faster, and cook faster, and drive faster, and live faster because it's convenient because we're, we're we don't have balance. Yeah. One place is in a hurry while the other place gets to chill. So our our product when you read the ingredients of our body butter, which is lotion, the same, but it's also care for your nails, for your hair, for not just your fingers, your toes, your elbows, but your whole entire body. Our product is so natural. You can get a spoon and eat it. You can cook with it. You can do all these things. What's up? What's up? What's up? And it's all natural. So our shea butter, body butter, guess what it has in it? Shea butter. Boom. Hey, Shea Butter. <laughs> Shea Butter, baby. We don't own that song at all. But like, if you go to the store and get a Shea Butter product, I'm not going to name any. You do your own research. I found out that you're only supposed to have, or you can have 1% Shea Butter in your product and call it a Shea Butter product. That's so crazy. That's just crazy. For every 120 ounces of body butter that we make, there's three and a half pounds of shea butter. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much. It is. But but it, it, it's needed. That's why our product is the best. It is. I'll put it against anything. And see, I, I'll say this last thing and I'll move on. Okay. Vaseline intensive care. The healing properties inside this lotion are a myth. They're fake. It's a fraud. There's a chemical, and you can read about it inside. You know, you can read it on the label. There's a chemical in there that makes your skin feel like it's smooth or soft. But it's actually clogging your pores. Mm -hmm. So you feel smooth. Your skin feels soft. But you're actually blocking oxygen from entering your body. Yep. So you can be dehydrated. You can get Blocked. sick. You can do all those things, right? Why? Because you blocked the pores. That breathe. I put on some body butter on my hands today. You can't really see. I don't know. Can you see? But I've washed my hands seven or eight times a day. <laughs> um, our daughter made fun of me because she's like, she's like, why are you washing your hands? Because they're dirty. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I just wanted my hands clean. But it, feel my hands, babe. Don't lie to people. I don't have to lie because I have it on too. So. Do I feel dry? No. Go ahead and scratch my skin. Harder. Do you see any any ash marks? Nope. You know why? Because I got that butter. So, if you have a moment, if you'd like to.
be a blessing and explore some of the new products we have. We got some new announcements today, but I'm going to put it up on the screen now. That's our website, blendingharmony.net. Down there, scrolling by. Scrolling. Scrolling through. Go get it. Go get it. Go check it out. So, Go babe, so your day was kind of crazy. My day was kind of weird. Yeah. It was kind of weird. I mean, I had total revelation at about 5.15. The way the Lord got you in order today. <sighs> Can I tell the story? I know you're tired. I can I tell it? Yes. So my wife sends me a text from the other room. I'm in the back office in the cubby in the back. I move first. Let's start with I decided to move husband back into the office instead of me being in the office. Why? I got demoted. He didn't get demoted. That's a promotion to be in your own space with a door. I think everyone I hate the door. can agree that we all want an office with a door and a window. <laughs> Tell me if I'm lying. I know I'm not. I know everybody wants that. I was fine back Look, there, but. I'm a little spoiled and I'm like being around my family. So when doors are closed, I'll be like, oh, are they okay? He right. is the one that needs all <laughs> the silence in the world in the house. He's the one that needs it. He talks to people all day and we're loud. Okay, I'm trying to help Nate with school stuff, and there's stuff going on at my house. So people coming cat, over, cat, ringing cat, bells, and talking, and so it was more convenient to say, "Husband, I love your face. I love um, when you touch my leg like that. I'm so happy. Are you that? I know we why could she did it. Here's home. the real reason. She she don't want me to see all the Amazon packages coming. Oh, he tried it because he gets front row seat to what pulls up to the door. So now I know when this. Because before it's just a surprise. Like, who was this order gone? <laughs> anyway, so she sends me a text from the front office to the back office, right? And she's she's asking me about this this sermon our pastor is uh, preaching, and it just started playing on her phone. I was on a phone call. <laughs> on a call. And then the phone call ended, and for whatever reason. My phone was like, and resume. But resume from what? I couldn't find where I had actually Yeah, been man. And the listening. word of the Lord started playing. Child. What was the name of the sermon? Cycles. Cycles. Now, had you had, had, had you opened that app No. At all? I, had, I had... Listen, had you I'm going to tell you what apps I, I had open. Okay? All right. I had my notepad open and... I don't even know. Let me ask another question. Oh, fries. <laughs> Have you ever accessed that sermon before? No. You've never clicked it. You nope. never went into YouTube. To, Let me listen no. to Cycles by Greater Faith Too Son and Apostle Jamie Benjamin. <laughs> no, plug. <laughs> if you ain't got a church in, in Tucson or if you're in another state and, and, and you need a church and you need a word, go to YouTube, go to GFC Tucson. Come join us. Join us on Wednesday and Sunday. Empowerment is going to be on fire this week yeah and sundays are going to be crazy but anyway the message started playing yeah and you and you even showed me there were no apps open on the phone i had no apps she open. showed me i had closed them all and i was like who okay off of work i'm gonna read my book no ma'am actually you're gonna listen to this sermon that you didn't click on that you had no idea was coming and also you can't find it to turn it off did it give you everything you needed <laughs> And more. Yeah. Yeah. And more. The timeliness of that message. It was like, boom. I was like, oh. Oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> and it was so heavy. She's like, I got to go somewhere and land. Let I me, need, let me go. I went outside. <laughs> I need a moment. It's easier to fly when you have air and space. <laughs> so I went and checked the mail. <laughs> let me go check the mail sure. where I can breathe. Breathe a little bit. I can't you breathe can. in here. It was hard to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> but God got you all the way together. Together, yes. But he'll do that. Yeah. And when you're done, resume. Yeah, it was like 4.30, like right when I clocked out. All right. Hung up from talking to dad. You want to play a little? Group? Sure. I win. Go ahead. Your significant other has been acting suspicious lately. Ooh. In the middle of the night, you wake up and realize they left their phone unlocked. Ooh. Would you go through it? Explain. No. Explain. No, because I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Let me tell you what I don't care about. No, no, no. Let me change it. I'm not concerned with what my wife does. 
Child. with her business. Now, right. when I say, see, some people, some husbands are real possessive. That's my wife. Those are my kids. That's my house, my <laughs> car, my money. That's how they sound in my head. Is that friends in your head? <laughs> friends in my head. They be like, ugh, this is mine, mine, me, 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 and mine. All mine. And I'm like, husbands, y'all tripping. Okay? But I trust Zakia. You know how I trust Zakia? I know her daddy. Both of them. Her earthly father and her heavenly father. And my spiritual one too. And I know through all three of them personally. So if something happens, guess who gets the download first? I, me, husband. So if I see her phone unlocked, um, I'm going to actually put it on the charger. (laughs) Because probably she might have (laughs) forgot. I think I did that. Several times. (laughs) And I'm just going to roll over. And go back to sleep because so see because I I don't hide anything from Zakia and Zakia don't hide nothing from me. Lord, I've been trying to give this man my phone for three years. He will not take it. She won't take mine either. I, she has passwords. I begged her to let me put your fingerprint on my phone because no. you can have multiple fingerprints yeah. to get access. You get some happen. I've offered the same thing. I'm where? Here's my thumb. You want it? No. I'll do it right now. See, <laughs> he don't even want to try. He didn't even want to try. Jeff, what's going on, man? I miss you, bro. Hi. Oh, ball as well. Jeff is one of the funniest men I've ever met in my life. Funny man. Funny. Mister Funny Man. And he makes some amazing barbecue sauce too. Ooh, can we have some? Do you still make barbecue sauce, Jeff? Because anyway, I'm hungry. Inbox. But that's 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 my question. That's your I, answer. That's my answer. You want me to answer the same thing? You want to answer? Want me to answer it? Yeah, go ahead. You answer it too. No, I'm not. Like, you being suspicious is you usually the Lord. So I don't, like, I don't, like, my problems are different. <laughs> like, if you're being suspicious, I'm like, oh my gosh, what download is he getting right now? Mm. Yeah, and see, but if you I, go through my phone, you, you got you got to take responsibility. Yeah, I don't want you see. I don't want none of them prayer requests. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want none of that. I'm, it's a hard pass for me. I'm just gonna keep moving right along. Because folks send me a lot of messages. Pray for me. I need help. I need yeah. So advice. here's the thing: his inbox isn't dry by any means. No, they're full. <laughs> it is, but <laughs> they're full. It's nothing that I would be. Or want to be concerned. And with. If by chance <laughs> I do get a random, I call them randoms. Randoms want to pop up and say, "Hey, I like your beard." Try me. <laughs> Guess what I'm gonna do? Try I'm me. I'm telling. Yeah. Hey, look what she said. Look what she said. Look at this. Do you want to talk to her? Yes, I do. There you go. I may hand it to her and let her fingers do the talking because mm. that ain't my business. Although I now. Listen, this is growth, okay? Come on, growth. I am no longer as aggressive oh, God. as I used to be. Death threats. Not death. No, no, no. But leave my husband. Or home. I will take your breath out of your I life. don't say I'll take your breath. But you one time you said I will snatch your throat out of your out of your neck. Did she message you back? <laughs> no. Okay. So see, because my warning wasn't, I guess, aggressive enough. So, hey, leave me alone! I got a wife. She was like, "I got it." It's <laughs> she, fine. She went on. All I heard was, <laughs> "You ain't got to worry about this one. Boop. This one won't be back. <laughs> You're good. Y'all can come, <laughs> but you know." <laughs> Jamise is on. <gasps> That's my little boo. Hi. Oh my god. I love her. One of the most amazing ladies on the planet. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Janae. Janae, she will. <laughs> yes, we, a DM prayer ministry. Basically, girl, because if Try Me was an in inbox, <laughs> it would be Varen's. And I don't even know what's worse Instagram or Facebook at this point. The group me's. It's, oh. I got like 17 group meetings that I'm, you know, prayer prayer groups, yeah. Facebook prayer groups, Instagram prayer groups. Ooh, they hot. They groups and a lot of people need prayer. But yeah, that's what we do. The block is hot. So if you don't know, 
we are playing this game right here. Relationship debate. Our little uh, ice breaker. Here's your question, my love. Oh, okay. A woman breaks up with a man, and when he asks why, she says that she met someone better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is that, I'm sorry. Is that ever a valid reason to leave a relationship? Uh, Explain. I found somebody better. That's all, that's all you got. I found somebody better. Okay. I mean... Mm, walk lightly. I'm definitely going to sound like the jerk here. Walk lightly. I'm just telling you right now. It's me. And that's... I'm fine with that. I'm fine with being the jerk in this scenario. Yeah. But if there's a situation where I find someone better... Well, wait. First of all, we're dating... You always do this. Yeah, because it you matters. Need instructions. I do need instructions. Is this are we committed? We're married. We're married? Yeah. But I wouldn't be looking for somebody else if I was married. That doesn't make sense. Is it a the question is, is it a valid reason? The woman said, Hey, I found somebody better. And I'm out. What better. What? How'd she find someone better if she's married? Is it a valid reason? No. It's not a valid reason. Not if you're married. What if you're dating? If you're dating, that's different. What's different? The time? The commitment. Three months? Three years? The commitment is, well, yeah. I, I mean, no, time doesn't matter, but the commitment is definitely different. Yeah? Yeah. Like, if I were to find better... I, how can you even determine better at, like, six months? If you're dating more than one person... That just sounds exhausting. Well, yeah, babe, because you're Old. 48. So <laughs> anything over one is too much. <laughs> Except for the girlfriend that you had. Mom, remember the girlfriend that made him a cake and some food and brought it to Miss Wanda's? You know who I'm talking about. I ain't going to say no names, but you know who I'm talking about. All right. That was a double. <laughs> I can't believe you did this online. live. <laughs> Because anyway, yeah, I'm gonna leave both these phones with you tonight. <laughs> I don't Listen, want any of those phones. I will Ooh. say this, and I meet it from from my Sean and my Doe. <laughs> Lies, daughter. Lies. This is not a lie. From the I'm, <laughs> from the time the ink from my divorce decree dried. Until I kissed you in the mouth in the parking lot of your house. <laughs> there was no other and no in between. Actually. None other. <laughs> None. Okay, fine. <laughs> None. But it's so funny. It, it, it's, it's untrue. Y'all, my husband had an admirer. Several. He just didn't pay attention to any of them. Not one. <laughs> one thing I, I've been blessed with my whole life, and that is being naive. See? She knows. Mama. She knows. Mom. Listen, I, I, uh -huh. I've been blessed with being naive. Viren drives, <laughs> walks, skates, rollerblades, <laughs> skates, motor scooters, motor scooters, with blinders on. You'll never, like, you'll walk right, he'll walk right past you without a shadow of a doubt. Dude. Girl, she came with a cake. I heard when it hit the track. <laughs> oh. Never mind. <laughs> you gonna give me in trouble, Jamise. Jamise, don't get her in trouble. <laughs> Jamise, you gonna give me in trouble. I'm gonna turn her mic off. You know what? I'll call you later and tell you what happened. <laughs> After this, I'll call you and tell you what happened. Because what happened is... But living with blinders on has really kept me safe. Safe, yeah. Also naive. Also uneducated in a lot of areas. <laughs> Worldly things. Worldly. I, I just didn't know. That's where I come in. You're, you, <laughs> were, you were the ratchet to my righteousness. <laughs> So now we're ratchet and righteous. Yeah, that should be a name. Our, that should be the name of our podcast. <laughs> our next episode. Our next episode is Thursday. Thursday. Because usually I wind down at the end of the week. Ratchet and righteousness. Yeah. We're gonna do it. Thursdays is gonna be ratchet and righteousness. We all drink That'll brown liquor. No, we're not. Black and mild. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, we're we're well past that age. I'm gonna get black and mild. You get some Newports. Oh. And we just gonna have a party ah. with some brown liquor. Speaking of brown liquor. <laughs> My new glosses I just dropped. Right. 
Mom, you do know. I'm gonna call you and tell you too what happened. Unaware. She knows. Hey, Marnell. What's up, sis? All right, the two new glosses. I posted them earlier. Can I give you an introduction first? Sure. Properly. Coming to the stage. What? Shh. <laughs> the beautiful, <laughs> the lovely, kind-hearted boss of bosses. <laughs> <laughs> Boss Lady Z herself, the owner and founder of Blended Harmonies, Boss Gloss, and other platforms coming soon. <laughs> she is an author, stadium filler. Yeah, I'm, I'm speaking it. That's such a tall. Full. <laughs> you, full. You hear me? Her mind is so amazing. That everything she thinks about comes to pass. Put your hands together. Okay. For the one and only. Gosh, babe. Zakia Chandler. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that lively intro. Also. Also. I have two new flavors that I just dropped tonight. Are they on the website? Because I forgot. They will be right now. They're on the website mm-hmm. in four minutes. Uh, the first one is White Russian. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Can you guys see that? I'm so far away from... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. No disrespect to the things going on in Russia and the Ukraine. None. This is actually a <laughs> Free tribute <Ukraine>. to... <laughs> but it's a drink. The drink. <laughs> it's a drink. That's We're doing all. drinks all summer. Summer drinking. Summer fun. Summer fun. Getting lit and turned up. But not... Do they still say turned up? No. Or lit? Do y'all still say lit? Y'all. Because I, I can't say me because I'm 96 years old. Do y'all young people <laughs> in between the ages of 17 and 41... Still say lit. That's cute because I'm 41 uh, and I feel like because you're a generation after. Before no, me. I'm not. I'm 60, <laughs> and I'm I will ba- be a generation I, after you. I'm a baby boomer, not before you. <laughs> you're not a baby. <laughs> he relates with all the baby boomers. I That's do. not the same. I'll do. Go ahead. Anyway, the other flavor is a Manhattan. Mm, this one. It's tastes... got like a hint of cherry. Yeah. And it's so delicious. It is delicious. Ah, see, Jimmy said Liddy. Liddy? So that, I got your two glosses. We're gonna get right. Liddy. We're gonna get Liddy. Summer. Huh? I can't that doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth, Liddy. Did I work it? So how do you do say it? it? Let's get Liddy? Yeah. Or so can this be Liddy? Yeah, it's Liddy, right? Liddy. Anyway, this is why I say what I say, how I say it. But y'all go get some of this gloss. And if you think I'm playing, the last time every time we do this, y'all miss out. Dang it, I know. Every single time, and, and y'all, y'all wait until tomorrow. I just get in the morning. When we end this live, these products are going to be on our website. Yeah. So make sure you spend some time and get this white Russian in this Manhattan boss gloss. White Russian and man, the Manhattan. I think they're so like uh, sophisticated drinks, you know. Like I was looking online at pictures of them, and I was like, "Ooh, these are very sophisticated. This is very like, oh." May I do this now for all y'all super sanctified, saved, filled the Holy Ghost uh, saints? That oh my God, liquor. There's no alcohol in this boss club. None. <laughs> it's all about flavor. It's all about the flavor. It's, it's flavor. About the cherry. The chocolate hints, the the cream, all the things that are inside the drink that make it, it do what it do. That yeah. make it, that's what makes it Liddy. Liddy. Also, our wonderful, amazing, chocolate, beautiful daughter, Janaea. You better smile, girl. She is. I the, wish she'd come over. She's but beautiful, she but she it's okay. She is the baby boss gloss, and she has her own product. Do you see this? It's little tiny baby boss glosses for the babies. What flavors do we have? Cookies and cream. Right. Bubble gum, bubble, obviously. Bubble gum, right. And root beer. Isn't this cute? Come on. Come on. It's a popsicle. It's a popsicle. So adorable. 
We had so much fun making those. Actually, she made she all made of them. All. them. She made all the flavors. She picked the flavors. I let her pick the tubes. All of the packaging is all done by her. By her. I was letting her be the creative director. That's right. Behind that one. Why? Now, that's a good segue into business and balance. Sure. Like, why did we do that? You want to speak into it first? No. We did this <laughs> because we are creating legacy moves and moments for our children. We have a history. Well, I have a history of failure. I'm going to call it what it is. Failure in parenting. I own it. I did it. I made the mistakes. It's mine. I did not create legacy moments for my son or my daughters at all. Because I was too busy being busy. You were. I was too busy not parenting. I was too busy taking you know care of other people's houses. It was the cycle. In How which... did you hear about the cycle, baby? Don't, do this. <laughs> Don't treat me like I'm a four year old. <laughs> oh, no. It, no. You're right, though. You're right. Yeah. You're right. It, it's just, it's part of it. That's the idea. We're going to break these generational Breaking cycles them. because they're ridiculous and toxic and trauma induced and no more we just don't we're not going to do it anymore (laughs) watching her mother create this product birthed the idea for her to make her own product hey erica so you know what this is going to do this is going to make sure that when she's older Mm -hmm. she won't have to get loans for school she won't have to apply for housing if she wants to go to school for for, for Mm -hmm. college you know why because she's going to have a credit score yeah and it's going to be 800 yeah and so and she'll have a savings Mm -hmm. so where she wants to go to school she'll also own the house in the city or the or the or the field right with the ranch yeah already so and you're taking your horses with you take your horses with you i'm not yeah, I mean, this isn't like mommy daycare. We're not babysitting horses <laughs> while you in college. That's and, all I'm going to say about that. That's all we got to say about that. But it's true because yeah. she because she has dreams. Yeah. So we have created a business model that's not just a storefront to sell body butter, gloss, beard care, massage oil. That's not the purpose. Right. There are levels within Blending Harmony that's going to give us multiple streams of of finances, multiple streams of influence, because you know why? That's what we're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. We're 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 managers of our child. Right. We are managers of our family. We are stewards of them, and it's my responsibility, my wife's responsibility, to make boss moves for her. Yep. And when I married her, Hallelujah. Ooh, she said yes. <laughs> Thank you for saying yes. Thank you for asking. Although my ask was pretty suspect. It was a little sus. I was nervous. And your response was hella disrespectful. <laughs> she was like, uh. I said, yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it took her a year to cry. Like, Wait a minute. We're engaged. I had to figure that one out like a week later. I was like, oh. Wait a minute. But we made the, I made the decision then. I said, like, whatever it, it takes to make sure that this little one has what she needs to be successful, I'm willing to do. Whatever it takes. Hey! I'm all in. <laughs> oh, sorry. Praise break. <laughs> Listen. Happy <that was> claps. <laughs> Did but you that- know my husband plays the tambourine and he won't teach me? And I'm not going to. I'm retired. Anyway, I didn't know you could retire from ministry. I did. I was, that's not ministry. That's noise. <laughs> that's a ministry. So Tambourines in the ministry. we are making boss moves for legacy moments for our family. That's going to secure a solid future, not just for her, but for the generations after her. Right. Her it's, kids. It is our belief and our her faith kids, kids. that we are declaring, right? Yeah. That we will have no lack, right? We will have no issues with resources. We will not have to borrow and beg and plead and say, please give me a dollar. You know why? Mm-hmm. Because we're going to have 50 streams of income. Right. Facts. 
So blending harmony. And I, I know y'all don't don't see us do a lot of it right now, <clears throat> and that's on purpose. We promote our business products when we want to, mm-hmm. because we're building other streams at the same time. Yeah. Because you know what else the boss lady Z is? A certified mental health expert. M. Certified. M. You are certifiably beautiful as well. You you are. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Can I turn this off for a minute? Turn what off? <laughs> the live feed? Yeah, I'll be back. Wow. <laughs> Whatever. You know what that means? I'm married. So we, us, is married. Together. No, but it's real. That's what we do. Mm-hmm. We're going to build it. You got something to say, babe? I just want to read this card because this is a perfect question for you. For me? Uh, keep the laugh one up because when I'm done reading it, you're going to crack up. Your significant other quits their job because they want to become a rapper. The mixtape is dropping next week, but so are the bills. Would you support them? Explain. That is... I'm about to go out like Queen Latifah. Okay? I have quit my job, created... 12. <laughs> That's a joke, right? So you quit your job to be a rapper. A rapper. How old are you? This age? Right now. So what's the question asking me? <laughs> Would you support them? No. <laughs> <laughs> Explain. Because it's crazy. <laughs> That's the post. That's the TED Talk. Thank you for coming. Now, here's a question. <laughs> because I do, I do want to understand. I know that it is probably more accepted from a man's it perspective is. than it is from a woman's perspective. Because if I said I'm a at 48, yeah, I'm gonna start my music mm-hmm. career mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. But to quit your job, I see two chains got signed at 40. So technically, I could do it, Jamise. That's what you're saying. I don't have two chains. I don't have two nerves right now. So. <laughs> two nerves. You need two. <laughs> at least two of uh-huh. them. Because they got to agree. Uh-huh. We're, we're two or three or more. Don't do this. <laughs> two, well, how many is it, babe? Two or three are gathered. One, or, one to three. At least three are gathered in this thing. I'm dropping you off. Where are we going? Are there tacos there? You're going. I said I'm dropping you Me. off. Are, are there tacos? I don't there? know. I don't know what she cooked for dinner. <laughs> Who's she? <laughs> Wait a minute, where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? I don't want to go. <laughs> okay, so real real spit. They don't say that no more. No, 94. I, they don't. That's a strong 88. But mm-hmm. real talk, if you had communicated your dream to me and there was a plan. Which I did. The, the card says you just quit. <laughs> yeah, I just. So that's not a plan. I became a rapper. I have my mixtapes ready. That's different. If you just jumped, did I know about this? I don't know. I would right. assume if I'm in, if I got, listen, if I have that many tracks on an album, Let I'm getting ready Hold to on. drop my mixtape. My turn. Tag me in. <laughs> I know some woo, people that um, have lots of things going on. And, <laughs> and, and I just say that. And, and then on, on paper, like, wow, you, well, you're all that. You, you a painter and you an artist and you're a wow, busy you're just busy. Yeah. And you got a bus pass. Nah, if if, right. if you catch the bus, I'm not judging you. But what I'm saying is, if you're doing all this and ain't got two toothpicks to rub together, but if I'm doing this, this is a mixtape. My mixtape might blow okay, up. Okay, let me ask a question. Let me, <laughs> let me ask you a question. How many followers you got on IG? I don't know. The Co- same that I have now. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> 480, <laughs> I think. <laughs> you gonna quit your job with zero? <laughs> yeah. Zero. No followers. I got one person on my live feed. That algorithm is every like, night. Nope. <laughs> we yeah. don't care about what you're talking about. Because <sighs> you don't do nothing on it. But I'm dropping my mixtape already. Who's going to listen to it? I don't know. But it's enough for you to quit your job? Yeah. I'm not supporting you. And I'm calling your daddy. <laughs> not the pastor. Not the one in heaven. I'm going to call OTNO. <laughs> and I'm going to say, I need you. Stat 911. Oh. And I'm going to call him at 8, 12 p.m. 
Eight. So he's going to get here real angry to get you all the way together. And when you're done, when he's finished, we can all celebrate. You can dry your eyes. My mixtape. Nope. He's going to be taking the tapes with him. Ah, so here's the thing. My <laughs> dad will support any dream I have. He'll support it. He'll be like, if that's what you want to do, and you have a plan, you, you go for it. What's the plan? I quit my job. I'm dropping my mixtape in a week. We go into counseling. <laughs> Mental health expert. <laughs> this is traumatic. I for you? Some, yeah. I need some trauma counseling. Well, I can't my anxiety your, is going up. I can't be your counselor. I have anxiety <laughs> I'm going to go get a referral <laughs> for my own self through Geico <laughs> and my own doctor. Amen. Seriously, I won't. I won't quit my job to be a rapper this time. I, I do appreciate that. Yeah, but I, I I do know some crazy talented people with a lot of faith who said, you know what, I'm a jump. But but their plan was so tight. Yeah, solid. So here's solid the solid plan. That's kind of how I am envisioning going into the next chapter myself mm -hmm. it's it's going to be and i have to remember crazy faith crazy faith because if i don't the potential to fail is real even even having a backup job sure. like you obviously know me well enough to know that I'll work two, three jobs if I have to. You've been trying to since I met you. I have. Just around the holidays. Can somebody tell Viren to let me go work at Kohl's for two months? Just in the in the wintertime. Watch this. Please send me that message. I got some <laughs> very, very intentional words to reply. Oh, not nice. So be careful. This is, no. I'm good. Mm -mm. I only want to work for two months. Anyway, so when we started Blended Harmony, we discussed this. <laughs> yeah, I changed the channel. Boop. We discussed <laughs> the plan. Yes, there was a plan. I was like, so we got this vision. We got all these things. We wrote it. We planned it. Like, right are we quitting jobs? We're like, no, because we're going to use the jobs to finance our future. Now, once we get to that level, then... then it's not, Gradually. and it's not, yeah, it's a phase out. Phase it's not out. even a quit. It's a phase out. You phase one out and then you just do the other one yeah. consistently. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's consistently. Yes. So you can't walk away from your solid foundation and, and, and say, I'm, I'm just done. I'm not doing this anymore. Yes, he did. So. Without having an idea sure. of where you're headed yeah yeah so we wrote the vision and made a plan mm -hmm. it made sense to us and god gave it to us and it's working it is well it's working well mm -hmm. that's balance yeah we'll keep doing it and we'll keep going so as because what we did we, we were actually a little overzealous yeah with our first launch and we went all in and Listen, doors are opening. They are. We we were going to the post office Every... a lot. Orders were in. But I was talking to my brother Wendell, and I, he ain't on nothing social. But he, he's not. <laughs> he's and, I, not. and I love it. But I want to be like Wendell, but Vera won't let me. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's like, no, nope, you're coming too. <laughs> you're coming too. But he, he said, V, Blended Harmony is not just a storefront. Right. When I go to your website, all I see is product. Yeah. I, he said he, he questioned us. He said, I thought your brand had other other levels and layers. And it does. And That's I was like, the you're thing. right. But not knowing how to maneuver through websites and you know all of the marketing that you need yeah. is super important. I feel like marketing is more important than the actual thing sometimes. Sure. And we're 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 in phase two of our plan. Mm -hmm. And I, I said by phase four, we would hire someone to do marketing. I, we might be pushing it to phase three because <laughs> I don't want to do it no more. Because you know why? And I learned this from you. 
why just piece something together and get exhausted trying to figure it out when you can make an investment and have it done professionally? Like I always say, there's people who get paid to do things. Yeah. And then there's people who pay to get things done. And you just need to know where yeah. you are in that. In that sure. whatever the thing is, where do you fit in? I did it every time I hit this mic thing every time. Mm-hmm. Every I almost made it. You are consistent in all your ways. Hey, that's what we're looking for is consistency. We are. That's in business and balance. Because yeah. if you don't have consistency, just go work at the job. Just get you a nine to five and some benefits. Yeah. Being an entrepreneur is not for the, the weak at heart. If you're scary and don't have any faith or you don't know what, I don't know, I don't, and you have doubt and trust I don't me. know, you got trust issues, girl, I, don't do it. It, it, it can really like mess with you mentally if you're not prepared for all that comes with it. Absolutely. Because you're constantly like in grind and hustle mode. But here's the other part of that too. And I think this is where we were like, wait a minute, mm-hmm. right? Because we're not just a body butter, you know, skincare line. Like that's not just what it's about. And that's what we, that's what people didn't see. They did. Right. So right now people are getting to see our products. Sure. That's great. And that's great. That's wonderful. We want you guys to get them because we made them for you. Yes, we However, do. that's oh. not all we're about. Right. Right. Like we. We're authors. We are. We specialize in family and marriage and trauma mental trauma, and healthcare, health. and that's spiritual. Yeah. All, all those things. There's a balance in what we do and why we do it. But I also feel like our skincare line and products um, <clears throat> were on the front row for so long that people just assumed. assumed. That that's all we were about. No. Oh, they're just they're just a natural skincare line, and it's like actually when we when we relaunch, it'll look completely different. Yeah, because I'm gonna write a check. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get paid. It's gonna be like, whoa, <laughs> you you dog all right, I did. And it is gonna happen sooner than we think. Yeah, I I believe that. Because you have to take a risk. Even to get balance, you have to take a risk. Mm-hmm. It's not easy no. to find balance in your life. No. Because you know why? Because we have so many layers of history yeah. that get in the way of uh, forward movement. Sure. Forward progress is something that I think everyone struggles with because they get so consumed with what's happening right now. Right, right? now. Right? So people don't necessarily look to see what's going to happen six months, eight months, 12 months from now that they get wrapped up in what's going on right this second. I and am it's literally like, thinking I, about 2028 right now. Yeah, like I can be, oh, you, you went far. I'm, I'm in 2025 right now. And that's pretty much as far as I'm willing to go. But only because that's that forever evolving and forever changing. Forever. Yeah. Don't get stuck or stale. No. Worried about, oh my God, I can't pay my light bill. Three years. Stop eating at McDonald's every other day. I don't even know. Save that $30 a week in fast food and pay your bills. <laughs> Can you pay my bills? Hey. Pay my telephone bills. Bills. Also, don't on the rights. Right. Do that. So, I don't think own we the do. Rights. So, so, let's play this game and eat some food. Hey! hey. Please. No. Oh, yeah, good one, babe. We're Liddy in Liddy? here or something. I think we're saying it wrong. I think so, too. <laughs> Jamise, I can't wait to talk to you. because I, I got to hear her say it. Cause Me, too. I, think I'm pretty... I want her to use it in the right context so I can use it on Thursday with right. Ratchet and Righteous. You know what I realized today? I was, ta- I was thinking about you. Right. And I was like, hmm. That's why y'all can't get in his inbox. Because, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Because he's always thinking about me. I am. We got, I love her. But I was like, man, she's an expert. Jimmy said, please stop. I'm not. It's, it's going to be Liddy. I'm an expert? You're an expert. I'm like, man. And Kyle was like, so are you, fool? Hi. I'm like, I don't have any certificate. You want one? No, listen. No, listen. Uh, you can go get it. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I don't have, any, I don't have anything on the voice. Let me tell you something. 
So I didn't take my certificates off the wall. No, no, yet. listen, listen. To me. So Viren's staring at my, my certificates. I had a mama like, oh my god, I don't have any certificates. But God was like, Viren, oh. I've literally been oh. doing this as far as ministry, counseling, pastoral care, leadership training, what teaching, up, Zach? music. Yeah. For 26 years. I feel like that's plenty of certi- certifications. Guess what? I'm an expert in these things. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's like doctorate level. That's, yeah. That's double doctorate, double PhD level type experience. At least. Because if, if I walk into a business with 25 years of solid, reputable experience, experience. I'm not applying to be the janitor. No. I'm not applying to answer the phone. I'm going to be your COO, CEO. That's the kind of experience I have in these things. And he got me all the way together. See? And I was good. Look at the Lord. Look at, look at him. Getting you together. She said we can't use a Ratchet and Righteous because it's taken by people. It and is. On stage. So we got to think of something else. I got a couple things, but it, it's not write them appropriate. Down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> gosh. Well, don't write them down. You have to have balance with your Righteous and your Righteous. Do. That's just my own personal opinion. It's not in the Bible for all you Bible clumpers out there. All Next right. Question. This is for me again. You a double? Oh. Go ahead. No, wait. I'm with this it. is a new pile. We I picked a new pile. Because we're so. on the way out anyway. What time is it? Babe, here. Pick a card. He always trying to hang up on what you. What time is it? Here. Don't see. worry about what time it is. Just I, keep going. You fine. I, I, I am I? Yes. Yes, you <laughs> are. He's so fine. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. What's the first word that comes to mind when you think of us? Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. But you you gotta fix it though. Or just you know, yeah. Blended. That's that was tough. That was tough, that y'all. Was tough. I don't care what y'all say. I'm not asking that one. That one might make you cry for real. And I'm no, not ask it. No, I don't want to. I don't. See? <laughs> he he likes to dormant himself. Nobody else can do it because he does it himself all well, the time. The water works like here I am to Oh, okay. Ooh, this is good. Barry White, listen, I need some, I need some water. Oh, I'll do you want to sip from my I do. my box glass? Okay. All right, here's the question, babe. Are you ready? Wow, oh, that was literally one sip. You took sip. all of my... It was one sip. Janae, could you give me some more water, please? Here. We don't own the rights to that song. We don't own the rights to whatever she was singing. I don't know. Re- re- no. You asked me. Okay, go ahead. I'm ready. Which part of raising me would you think thank my parents most for? Woo! Giving you the training and ability to talk. Yeah, communication. Communication is. It's my strong stoop. Stoop. It is key. But communication I, but is stoop. It's very sexy. And. <laughs> Man, give me my water you, and get out of here. And mind your business. No, but it is. It's very attractive. Uh, that's what drew me to you. That though, that initial conversation. You being now when I say communicate, I'm not just talking about just giving out words. I was gonna say, but but understanding, understanding what I was saying, sure, and being able to engage in a very deep spiritual, intellectual conversation. You know what frightens me. <laughs> Is that every time you say that, I feel like people are literally incapable, unable, don't have, like, don't have that. And I, ah, it confuses me. The confusion is real on, (laughs) I did. Yeah. I absolutely did. Uh, Unintentionally though. But I, but intentionally, because because that's what that's how you were raised. Well, yes. So you were very intentional in your presentation, like this, because I I made sure to do all I could to make sure I got the real you. Yeah. On a random night in the middle of the week, before you can make your hair and nail appointment, 
I want the real. Y'all, it and was bad. It. Okay, didn't have a feel. Nah. My hair had grown out from its braids. Gross. With my work clothes on, too. I was like, oh, well. I'm coming from work. Hope he understands. Let's have this date. Because really, I wasn't expecting anything else to happen. Good point, though. Many people choose Ooh. not to swim in deep water. Oh, sure. Most yeah. people. Most people. Like, I don't know anybody who intentionally throws themselves into heavy conversations like I do. Like, I'll go there. If you want to go there, let's go. I'm, oh. I'm not afraid to have a conversation. But a lot of people are like, I don't want to. I don't. I don't. No, I don't. And I'm like, well, okay, but... Not only is it taboo, but people just don't want to work in the initial stage. So they do this half-time, half, you know, partial uh, assessments of themselves to think they're putting on this facade of, sure. of confidence, say, thinking that this is what she wants, this is what he wants. Oh, yes. It's, it's your... Uh representative yeah right like i was not in the mood to show you about like i was like move the representative she's got to get out of the way for a little bit because there's several things that he needs to know about me right off the gate before we go any further family business relationships work whatever it is transparency nakedness yeah is important because yeah. if you don't you walk into situations wearing a mask a costume a cape and it's not the real you, and then you end up having to lie. That's what I was gonna say. Then, <laughs> then it's it becomes a yeah, facade, I like, your like you're making. <laughs> yeah, the spaghetti is so good. Mm. Isn't the spaghetti so good? Very. That was one ah! time. <laughs> one time you for made three hundred sixty-five days. Gosh. It was a one time for one year of times. <sighs> Vera made spaghetti with so much garlic. I was starting to feel it come out of my pores. You're right again. There is a sense of vulnerability you have to have uh, to not wear a mask. Yeah. And that's something that I was willing to do. And that's why I appreciated the moment because your mother and father gave you the tools to be vulnerable, transparent, and communicate at a level. Well, the, the thing that they taught me was if your intention is to get someone... Um, if your intention is to have someone be real with you, then you need to be real with them, no matter what it looks like. So I don't, I, there's moments if I, if I really truly don't feel like I'm going to share that statement, like I'm not going to share whatever it is, yeah. the response to whatever question, I just won't say any, like, I don't, we don't have to talk, like, I won't talk about it. Sure. I won't have the conversation and I'll tell you, I'm not, I like, I don't feel comfortable having this conversation yeah. and why, but most times, like, there's not really like an off limit thing for me. Um, because my parents, there was not an off limit thing for them. They were always willing to talk to me about whatever it was that I had questions about and they gave me the answers or yeah. or they found the answers to give to me. Yeah. Vulnerability is tough though. I know. It is, it's not and easy. you know what? Especially now, I feel like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I don't have to swim in the Peden single pool. The pool that, is nasty right now. That everybody is. All the folks that I know who are single are woo, not having a good time. It's yeah, not a good time. So many compromises. Yeah. Well, he's he's got both legs. <laughs> I hate it here. I'm she, sorry, she, y'all. She's got all her teeth. That's not fair. <laughs> Which is why I'm doing what I'm doing, right? Helping people Check get their mind back together. One of our faithful listeners, Zach, has a great question. Okay. It better not be about no cognac, Hennessy no bourbon, no flavor. No. Okay. You ready? <laughs> I'm going to ask you the question. Okay. Since you are the expert. Okay. You ready? Go sure. going to put your uh, your doctor hat on. Fix your crown. You ready? Okay. When communication comes to a halt in relationships, what's next? Counseling. Second part of the question. <laughs> How can communication be incorporated again without losing respect for the other person? 
there's layers in that. Yeah, there is. So go I ahead would and, say, and, 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 and speaking to that. I would say definitely start with a mediated conversation, whether it's a trusted um, person that you guys know together, um, but an unbiased, trusted person. Unbiased, trusted, wise counsel. Yeah. Yes. Or seek counseling, mm -hmm. like from a counselor, a licensed therapist. Licensed. Yeah. Not one of the homies. Not a real good guy, you know. Someone who has some training. That and someone who some documents. <laughs> <laughs> training, but also someone who actually has your best interest at heart. Yeah. Like they they genuinely have nothing to lose or gain but time. Um and and, and knowledge is really all that you're asking for. I would say it, communication is probably the one of the biggest, if not the biggest thing in any relationship with anyone though. Marriage, children, yeah. uh, parents, right. things of that, like any, any friends, all of that, all of that um, requires some kind of communication. And if you're unable to have um a conversation that leads to a, a positive or some resolution mm -hmm. in the outcome, then I would say have a third party there, a third party to sit and mediate the conversation. Yes. Meaning, okay, okay, she spoke, now you speak. Yeah. Okay, you speak. Did you understand what he said? Yes? No? Okay. Now. Walk then, it out. Right. Like have someone who's willing to do that for you and with you guys so that way there isn't respect lost because it can get into an arguing match faster when there's nobody sitting there watching you sure like i realized that now in previous relationships that that was one of the things like no one sees what we're doing at home right and so i could talk to you however i want i could Ooh. say whatever i want to say oh, to yeah? you at home now when we're out <laughs> It looks completely different on yeah, your yeah, best yeah, behavior yeah. and your P's and Q's. And, your posture is good. Yeah, holding hands. Oh, and yeah. I mean, all the things. Like, nope. That, that is a complete disconnect because now what you're feeding your spouse is I have two different sides to me. One side when we're together and the other side when we're out in public. That sounds like bipolar. Sure. It, could it sounds be. like schizophrenia. It sounds like a, a trauma. No, trauma. It's other trauma. Tag me in. I got something to add. When you said in the question that communication comes to a halt, I got the image of a car breaking down. Mm. Now, we drive our cars, right? We drive from point A to point B, sometimes all the way to point Z and back. Yep. And we put a lot of miles on that. Mm -hmm. Now, whether you have a new car or an old car, when you drive your car so much, if you if you don't do the maintenance, yeah, I think communication is like a car. If it breaks down, if there's no maintenance, mm -hmm. it's not going to run. Right. I have to get tires checked. Yeah. I got to check my oil. Yeah. I got to get the fluids flushed. I got to get brake pads. Yeah. We got to get brake pads. Do we? You know, spark plugs. Spark plugs. All the things. all the things. Yeah. Even though we have a nice car, but if we Doesn't don't matter. do the maintenance, if, yeah. If you don't take care of your nice things. They won't be nice things. They'll just be things that you have or had, had. because now they're broken down and they some, no longer. Some things that happen to engines you can't recover from. Right. When I, you I, seize an engine, that's it. That's it. Same thing with New your engine. relationship. Overhaul. If all you guys are doing is arguing and fussing and fighting and, and there is no resolution to any of the things that you're fussing and fighting about. Like, I'm not saying don't have a disagreement. Sure. What I'm saying is, is have a resolution yeah, have a to plan. the disagreement. Have, say, say, okay, we've come to this, uh, we've come to this amount of, of conversation where we can, we can't go any further at this moment because now we're both just exhausted of the conversation. Agree to say, we're not having this conversation anymore tonight. Yeah. But don't agree to not talking to each other at all. At all. 
agree to not have this particular conversation. You know what two angry people can't do? Agree. No. <laughs> when it gets to that point and it's just hot lava every day, yeah. please get somebody in there. Yeah, reach out. Like, have, have, and I can, if you need a, a referral for someone, I have several. We got I have several. I am one, but I do have others if if we're too close, right? Sure. Like if we're just, if you're like, no, <sighs> yeah. Mm. I have referrals outside of us. I have referrals for other, you know, physicians and, and people who um, will help you walk and maneuver through communication with your spouse. Because communication is not just words. No, it's ads. It's attitude, it's action, it's yeah. feelings, it's intimacy. Right. Communication is very intimate. And when we say intimacy, we don't just mean having sex. We right. mean... Like, oh, girl, you look good in them jeans. Of course I do. No. Absolutely. <laughs> you better walk. <laughs> Let me see you walk. Walk. Don't do this. No. No. But... Was that Liddy? <sighs> Jimmy, I don't know. What to do. It's her fault. I don't, know, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> You know what to do. I don't. You can't be can't stop me. <laughs> I can't. You can whoop me, baby, because I'm I old. I can. But you can't stop me. Yeah, Zach. So you always have to like maintain maintenance. There's always going to be maintenance in your in any relationship. Absolutely. There's maintenance when you're talking to your parents. There's maintenance in when you're talking to your kids. Your There's boss, maintenance. In, yeah. Coworkers. Yeah. There's maintenance needed in every relationship that requires communication, which is every. Every, yeah. Even maintenance with your communication with the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we want to put people, Facebook, Instagram, all these things into our relationships and forget that the Lord is like, yeah. Hey, I got something for you. Did y'all pray today? Did y'all touch and agree? You know what I love? Our pastors, our apostles at Greater Faith Tucson, they have celebrated 25 years of marriage. And for 25 years, that is amazing. They do something, they have a conversation where they both submit to each other again in everything. They repent and have a, a, a very vulnerable conversation. That that was like, Woo, I was like what? Yeah, I never heard them. That is so amazing. We're do, like, we're doing that. Yeah, like I'm, I definitely want to take that one on because I feel like that is a re it's maintenance. Yeah, it's like a reset of your everything. That's right, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. It is. And it's needed. Yeah. Because when I start fronting and I come in with all these things, all this, you know, who I who I who I think I am, it doesn't really communicate in my real heart or intentions. No. Because in my opinion, I can find you polls to support it if you want the numbers. But the majority of people on the earth do not know who they are. Oh yeah. They are living lives, they're uh, a, a fantasy. Or an imitation of what they've seen mm -hmm. other people do. Yeah. And that's, how, you know, I, I struggled with that, with understanding that. Because you are a product of who raised you, sure. right? So you are going to take on characteristics yeah. from them. But, but that like, I have characteristics of both of my parents. You do? But I am not. You're not your parents. Them, right? Like... I'm, I I have some of I like I have what they've given to me and what I have taken from what they have given to me sure. and that's my dad always says that he is probably Yoda for real he is but, I told you he was but he definitely always reminds me like that's the one thing that you always pray for for your kids is like what all the things that you give to them and all the things that you pour into them you just pray that one of those things sticks just one. Just just something sticks so that way you know like, okay, I, it wasn't all for nothing. It wasn't just because I just, you know. And I, that's truly, I like now in my 40s, I'm telling my dad like, wow, this stuck, dad. This, I remember when you told me this and I remember when you told me that. And I can only imagine how like rewarding for a parent that is. Sure. 
to hear their kids say, I remember what you taught me. Yeah. Or I remember what you said. Our parents gave us so many lessons. Yeah. So many valuable tools. Oh, yeah. OTNO, Amina, Billy Joe, yeah. Roslyn gave us some amazing tools mm -hmm. that we've been able to incorporate in our lives mm -hmm. and turn into an entirely new platform. Yeah, it's different. It's what you said, but I put my own, yeah. I put myself yeah. and who I am into it. Yeah, most people communicate from from the past, not the present. Right. And that's uh, sad, but it's true. I'm gonna call it is immature. It is. And I've done it, and I've owned it. I made the mistake, and I failed. I think we all have. We all have. No one is like cleared from that. No. I know I'm not. No. And but, that's okay. Yeah. It is. You okay. grow from that. So yes. Great that question. Definitely seek, find if if it's counseling that you guys are. And we'd love to help. Yeah. If you need us, we're here. If you need some private time. The chapels are here for you. If you need a referral, we have a network. If it's a man, inbox we, him. If it's a woman, inbox me. If it's a couple, inbox us together. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Or inbox him. Or just inbox me. Because <laughs> if it's a couple, inbox him. If it's a man, inbox him. If it's everything. If else, it's a inbox woman, me. inbox him. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just send all of your. In all of your inboxes to period. All of your appointment requests. <laughs> well, today's broadcast was sponsored by <laughs> Blood Harmony. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot, though. Um. Okay, so here's here is my reply to that, Zach. Read the question. The question is, what is the question? Uh, if couples set one night a week for just strictly communication, um, talking about whatever comes to mind, what up, B? Uh, what's bothering each other, et cetera, just like some do with date night. So mm -hmm. I'm going to reply to this one because this one is one of my favorites. Don't use date night as your moments to have hard communication conversation. Date night is not used for that. What I would suggest is not picking one single day to do communication, but spacing out the communication throughout the week. So taking 30 minutes after you guys have come home, decompressed, make the first 30 minutes that you're together, your communication time. And what that'll do is that will take down a lot of the stress and anxiousness mm -hmm. that has awaited you guys the whole day. So when you come together, there's actual communication. I would say space it out throughout the week. So 30 minutes every day after work. And that way when date night comes, it can really be date night and having fun. Yeah. Does that make, hopefully yeah. that makes sense. Because Reserve that date night for the date night for date night like keep date night date night yeah. whatever you guys do for date night don't add in also we need to talk about mm -hmm. how you left your nope. shoes on my brand new carpet yesterday and i told you don't do that like don't don't have that kind of conversation on date night Look like, sorry <laughs> that yeah. was i was just using i know that's that. fine i'm moving my shoes Ah, that wasn't a thing. <laughs> no, it, it, it might have that been. That wasn't a thing. It, it might have been the Lord. <laughs> it listen. wasn't a thing. When he speaks, you better listen. Anyway.